Hello, very warm welcome. An F1 video. Uh, we've not done one in a while, just having a bit of time away. But wow, it's been busy as we have the team principal merry-go-round. Uh, where do you start? Jos Capito leaves Williams. Uh, then we have the announcement Fred Vasseur will leave Alfa Romeo. And then Ferrari announced Fred Vasseur. Then we have the news that Seidel's leaving McLaren to join Alfa. And then uh, former Alonso's radio, radio engineer at Ferrari, I'm sure that's the same guy, is now the McLaren team principal. So a massive merry-go-round. Um, we'll start with Jos Capito. Hardly surprising. Williams are very poor. Um, it's not really... You know, there's not nothing really there, is there, for Williams at the minute. They're in a hole. They need to, like, come out the other side. They're struggling. They're the worst team. So, yeah, there would be no motivation for Capito to really stay in that role. Um, then probably the biggest news so far is Fred Vasseur is now the new team principal at Ferrari. He's taken one of the biggest jobs in Formula 1. But I feel like he's, it's like, they got rid of Benotto. He's only half the problem. They've replaced him with Fred Vasseur, who likes to, I'm now team principal of Ferrari. Um, he's absolutely nuts. He's bonkers. He did a good job last year with Alfa Romeo, as they got six in the constructors, but... Yeah, I don't know with the Ferrari team principles. It's a strange one. They keep changing it, changing it, changing it. But they need to, the strategists, the pit stop crew. There's more than the team principal needs changing at Ferrari. They think, oh, get rid of Bonotto. Vasseur comes in. And they're going to win every race, constructors, drivers. No, it's not going to happen. There needs to be more changes at Ferrari. Not just the man at the top. Massive opportunity for Fred Vasseur. He's been around the block. Uh, Renault, Alfa Romeo. Now he's got his chance at Ferrari. And how's he going to do? How's he going to fare up to the likes of Ross Ball, Braun, Arriva Benny, Binotto? We wait and see. But of course he needs time. Then, a very shocking one for me, and I'm not happy about this, Seidel leaves McLaren to join the worst team in Alfa Romeo. Now, this is a huge loss to McLaren. Seidel has transformed McLaren into a positive environment. Um, yeah, I thought he did a really good job at McLaren, and I am gutted about that one. I think that's a huge loss for McLaren. Um, yeah, and I can't believe they've let him go, to be honest. Seidel is leaving McLaren to join a worst team in Alfa Romeo. I don't get it. Of course, you've got the Alfa Romeo project, um, Saudi, uh, Salba, um, then it's probably going to go like Audi and all that. But yeah, that's a huge loss for McLaren. It really is. And then we've got Andreas Stella coming in, who used to be Alonso's radio, radio engineer back at Ferrari. I'm sure that's the same guy. Because when he won at Malaysia, one of the most beautiful, we are so proud of you. So yeah, basically we've had a team principal merry-go-round as Capito leaves Williams. Fred Vasseur leaves Alfa Romeo to join Ferrari. Seidel leaves McLaren to join Alfa Romeo. And McLaren appoint Stella. So yeah, wow. Interesting. Uh, yeah. A bit of F1 news. It's difficult to do F1 videos when the season's over. Obviously, I've been away for a, basically a week, just recharging the batteries, but now we're back underway, and we've got a lot of breaking news this morning. Comment down below your thoughts. Capito leaving, I probably agree with that. Fasur coming in, he's got a great opportunity, one of the biggest in motorsport, but... Yeah, it's like, oh, we'll sack the team principal every time it goes wrong for Ferrari. That's not going to get them back to where they want to be. Seidel leaving is a huge blow to McLaren. And a big game for Alpha. And yeah, Stella, is he up to 
doing a team principal role. Wow, comment down below your thoughts.